as a wide receiver, you got to be fearless. You got to be able to catch the ball, judge the ball in the air. You got to be able to make plays. At 6'1", with 34-inch arms and a 33-inch standing vertical leap, from a standstill, Justin can get a hand on the ball nearly 11 feet in the air, a reach greater than Plexico Burris's standing range, even though Plexico is four inches taller. But monster range doesn't help unless you can adjust the passes that are off target. I'm just going to throw you a bad pass. You can catch anything. I can catch anything. <laughs> Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Of all the acrobatic catches Blackman made in our lab, the most impressive ones were snags made on balls over three feet behind him. How does he do it? Identifying the underthrown pass, Blackman throws his right shoulder back 70 degrees in just 23 hundredths of a second before takeoff. By doing this, he converts his linear momentum to angular momentum. In the half second Blackman is airborne, he makes minor adjustments to ensure his hands intersect with the ball's trajectory. And just as a figure skater uses his arms to control the speed of his spin, Blackman controls his rate of rotation with the extension and retraction of his arms. I think it's very important to be able to make last minute adjustments in there, you know, that's what separates the best from the good. With a running start and his incredible ability to adjust on the fly, Justin Blackman can create a target for a quarterback that's about the size of a two-car garage. For ESPN Sports Science, I'm John Brinkus. Hey!